Recent developments have underscored both the capabilities and challenges of the Mi-38 helicopter program. The president of Belarus recently carried out a tour of a deluxe version of the multi-purpose Mi-38 aircraft, which garnered attention for its remarkable performance characteristics and spacious interior, despite its substantial size and weight. The Mi-38 is a versatile aircraft that is capable of performing a variety of functions. It has the capacity to transport passengers or cargo, conduct rescue operations, and perform a variety of other aviation duties, in addition to serving as a presidential helicopter. The transport version is capable of carrying up to 5 tons of internal cargo or 6 tons of external cargo, while the passenger configuration can accommodate up to 30 people. The helicopter maintains an operational ceiling of approximately 6 kilometers and reaches a cruising speed of 280 kilometers per hour. A notable feature of the Mi-38 is its modern cockpit design, which implements a glass cabin concept with multifunction color displays that present all essential information to the crew. This state-of-the-art avionics suite allows operations regardless of the weather or the time of day. The Mi-38 outperforms the popular Mi-8 helicopter in terms of speed. There have been substantial modifications to the current production plans. The current plan calls for the production of only one serial Mi-38 helicopter this year, contrary to previous projections of four helicopters in 2023 and five helicopters annually from 2025 to 2030. Production of five or more units annually will not commence until 2026. There are numerous factors that have contributed to these delays, including the ongoing refinement of the TV7117V turboshaft engine, the need to replace numerous imported systems with domestic alternatives, and the competition for resources at UEC Klimov, which is currently actively involved in other state defense orders. The manufacturer has produced 16 different versions of the Mi-38 helicopter, including prototypes, with slightly more than 10 currently in operation. The comprehensive program for the development of the aviation sector anticipates a total production of 39 Mi-38 helicopters. The Mi-38 has a maximum takeoff weight of 15.6 tons, and Russian helicopters recently reclassified it as a domestic transport helicopter with a takeoff weight of 11 to 16 tons. It means that the helicopter has moved from medium to heavy classification in accordance with international practices. The Mi-38's development journey commenced in the mid-1980s during the Soviet era. Canadian PW-127 TS engines powered the initial prototype flight in December 2003. At MAX 2011, the Mi-382, a prototype of the Mi-38 with new domestic TV-7117V engines, made its initial debut. The cargo version was certified in late December 2015, and serial production at Kazan Helicopter Plant was officially announced in January 2018. Early January 2024 saw the approval of a main modification certificate for the TV7117V engine, enabling an emergency mode with a power output of 3,750 horsepower for 2.5 minutes. The revision of the type certificate data document for the Mi-38 in March 2021 included the new Mi-38-4 model, which boasts a convertible cabin and an upgraded cockpit. Efforts are currently ongoing to increase market interest by extending the service life of the TV-7117V engine from its current 3,000 hours to 6,000 hours. In March of the current year, Kalima Aviation initiated trial operations with two Mi-38-4 passenger helicopters. The Kazan helicopter plant built these aircraft, originally designated for the Special Flight Detachment, Rossiya, in 2020 and 2021. However, Kalima Aviation subsequently leased them through regional government subsidies. Kalima Aviation now adorns the helicopters with a unique killer whale color scheme. The Mi-38 PS variant is the subject of a substantial development program for the Ministry of Emergency Situations. This modified version will boast an extended flight range of up to 1,500 kilometers, improved low-temperature operation capabilities, the ability to land on icebreakers, specialized rescue equipment, additional fuel tanks, night vision capabilities, and increased maximum takeoff weight, 
and the capacity to carry 40 passengers or 5 tons of cargo. The government intends to establish an emergency rescue center for the Arctic complex that will operate with Mi-38 PS helicopters. The center will have facilities in Sabeta, Dixon, Tixi, Pevec, and Anadir. Russian helicopters regards the Italian-British Augusta Westland AW101 helicopter, which is currently manufactured by Leonardo Finn Mechanica, as a primary competitor to the Mi-38 in terms of market positioning. The company primarily targets Asian markets with the Mi-38. The company recognizes that, despite the fact that its market may be smaller than that of the lighter Mi-8, Mi-17 and Mi-171 family, there is a viable segment for this new mill-designed model. Russian helicopters experienced substantial growth in overall production in 2022, producing 296 helicopters as opposed to 134 in 2021, as reported by Sergei Chemizov, the president of Rostec State Corporation. This growth was primarily due to an increase in state defense orders. In 2021, Nikolai Kolosov, the CEO of Russian Helicopters, announced that the company had secured firm orders for 25 Mi-38 helicopters through 2024, including those from international clients. Despite the ongoing development work and costs associated with the special military operation, the Russian Ministry of Emergency Situations has contracted nine Mi-38 PS helicopters in a rescue configuration. However, the delivery timeline has been impacted. Now, do you think Mi-38 can compete with Augusta Westland AW101 in quality? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership of our channel to encourage us.